right hello everyone so today is 25th of july and monday let's take a look at gold euro dollar dow jones and bitcoin right now last week this is let's go to gold last week as you know we had this level 1681 the market came down at exactly astro hours and just pushed up nice and easy and on friday we also went up with this nicely too so with gold we were expecting dips at the bottom i did say we've got a bit more room we could push down a little bit more around these zones as you can see and last week it did that it came to that 1684 zone and it matched our astrological hours so that was just like good to go long and as you can see beautiful 21st was also a good day for gold <coughs> with this natal as well and that just matched perfectly well actually now what to do this week so it's a new week so let's open up now new week our first resistance is here at 35 26 as you can see let's see where are we 25 is so 1733 36 1733 36 is our going to be these two levels are going to be our first levels to overcome right 36 there 33 there okay so this zone is the first zone we've got to get over which i think we will get over and start pushing up let's do this okay um and i initially want to be going up a little bit higher on the weekly into that level there which is 39 at 1756 so let's move this here 1756 there all right this should be our zone there all right so we should be getting up towards 1756 and on pullbacks we should be going long and then this is the weekly so until next week the setup's going to stay the same if it breaks above that our next target's going to be 45.23 which is 17.93 so let's put that on there as well which is still there okay that's fine so we know where we're going now this is the weekly pivot today if the market does pull back it could pull back into what we call all the way back down here which is 29 which is 1691 so a bit too far out because 1691 is there and i don't think this is going to come back that far down yeah i don't think it will come back that far down all right so what we have to do is if it pulls back into the weekly daily white line let's say it went up and then it pulled back we want to go long on the pullback okay if you want to short it this is going to be your level to short market could go there and then push slightly lower come into the weekly and then push up okay so going short around here at astro hours is not a bad idea i do it with a smaller lot size because we got you know we've got the potential ability to go up from these levels as you can see so we've got that potential to do so all right so we'll have to play it in that way so we can play both sides of the market if it goes up there we can try a sell with a small um, lot size um, stop losses are always tight and then we can push down on a push down if it comes back down to the daily white line or blue um, weekly pivot line here at an astrological hour we can go long let's take a look at euro dollar nicely on the weekly then new week so let's check out the monthly as you know we've bounced up from these levels on the psd so if you're using the psd indicator you should be all doing well and we've been promoting the euro dollar to go long or last week as well so it's like buying at the bottoms was what we were doing and also that's what we're going to do now we're going to push it up and as you know we've got targets there so we are expecting the euro dollar to come up before we go back down again so this range as you can see so let me mark that as well let's do this okay so this is a zone that we're anticipating this is a zone that we need to fill up the market needs to get up there it needs to fill this blank all right and it will so going long is not a bad idea just like last week as well how could we do this let's get rid of these from last week any pull back into our zones will help us out now this is a bit of a breakdown so the market may test the lows of last week before pushing up right so where can we get to 
Um, it's already done that. All right, so this was one zone, but they've already done it. Okay, so this is already done, as you can see in the Asia session. That's that there. Um, so pulling back onto we onto the weekly at an astro hour is okay to go long. If it pushes down, you can go long. There are a few levels here what can you do all right so yeah so this zone's going to be okay and also this is also one um, yeah they're a bit int colliding here but it's not much we can do we'll have to take these into consideration okay so we'll see how that p pans out any pullback into these at astro hours we can go long all right it's a good impulse wave abc push down or a b c push down here as you can see and then want to kind of push back up again um why do we want to do that want to get up into this zone all right if you're not targeting well if you're targeting in your technical analysis is not good you must fix it okay because without targeting you're like lost so these levels as you can see is where we're heading towards all right that's where we want to get to one two three Let's take a look at the US 30. Here's Dow Jones. That's a good push up. A bit of a retracement is in order, as you can see on the daily. Let's see if the weekly setup has changed. Weekly setup here 39, 30,820. 30,820 is just a lot of way to go down. Could it go down? Let's get rid of these. Let's fix this up here. Right, now this is your weekly pivot here. Let me just make this a little bigger. Um, oof. Come on. That's one zone which is already done. If we get lucky, no, oh, this is just too big. Um, let's just see this. The weekly pivot all right we'll take the weekly pivot zone here if it does come back down into the weekly pivot actually I won't draw it we'll just say the weekly pivot okay because the weekly pivot is obvious for us okay if it pulls back into this zone at an astrological hour we will want to go long on this one okay so it's just how it is um, on the weekly, where do you want to go long to? This LCL1 is 32,659. 32,659. It's quite a bit up as you can see there. Okay. That's on that. What about this place? 55. That's not a bad place. 31632536 All right around here so pull it pull backs into this zone as well are very much possible there there this looks good okay because of this goodbye kiss level here. All right, 55, 26, 36. Now at this zone, if it does pull back, it'll be good actually. Um, and then we can like push up with it. So a little bit of a retracement is in order. 
on this one to push up and then once we go back up we're going to look for sales let's take a look at bitcoin new week with bitcoin oh if it does come back into 27 18,044 18,044 wow it's a bit far down isn't it let's just take a look now it did the targets on that but we've got a breach on this as well 22,466 we already breached that Yeah, we're already above 22.466. So on the monthly, like I said, we're above this 22.466, where we want to get to. We should make one lower low to come and fill in this gap and then possibly push up and then go long. All right, so... And if I do this, it should not breach this high Yeah, We should come back into that zone. Okay, and possibly not breach this because then, yeah, this is a place to pick up actually. All right, so let's take a look on the Bitcoin weekly, right? So stay, keep your cool for the moment, okay? Because we should, you know we should go up like I said before we should go up and then we should sell again to go a little deeper here and then we should be pushing up so to, we're in July now we're gonna enter August and we've got September so what are we gonna do if it pops its head down we're gonna be buyers and that's for sure what to do in the meantime Um, wait for that retracement into that 20,473 okay into this 40 level there so 20,500 19,500 20,500 is All right, so a bit of a pullback is obviously natural. Okay, if I do this, it's there. All right, hasn't made my PST level, but let's see, 36, 37, 24, 100, 600. 24, 100, 600. Alright, so these should be targets upside for us. We'll wait and see how this goes. It's a good impulse wave, so on a pullback, they could be selling up as well. So, I don't know. We're going to have to sit tight. Trading in the middle of the channel is the most dangerous place. Okay, this place will get choppy. So, I suggest wait until we get to a PST level and then we'll reevaluate.